Okay, next question. Great. Uh, this one is for Mr. Uh, Hugh Ainsworth. Uh, Mr. Ainsworth, what do you say about a CIA document written on October 10, 1963, where J. Walton Moore, the head of the, the Dallas CIA Domestic Contacts Division, reported to the chief of the contact division on, quote, the possibility of Hugh Grant Ainsworth making a trip to Cuba. Are, are you, or have you ever been, a CIA media asset? Have you ever received compensation or money or any type of support sir, from the sir, CIA? Sit down, please. <laughs> oh, I'd be glad to answer that. That's a fair question. Okay. Let me explain. I had been in Cuba just before the missile crisis in 62, and I, will have to have and I wanted to go back. And uh, I, I don't know what year this was exactly, I, 63, 4. Anyway, I was trying to get back to Cuba. And you couldn't go directly. You had to go through the Czechoslovakian embassy. So I applied, and I was waiting month after month. One day I get a call from a guy who, his name was Moore or whatever, CIA agent in Dallas. Well, I didn't even know they had a CIA office. Later I learned it was just one door with nothing on it. But he said, he said we're, we're, things are going on in Cuba we need to know about. Would you look around and would you, would you sort of look for this? And he knew that I was an aviation and aerospace editor, so he told me to look for those things. I said, hey, wait, I'm a good American. When I come back, I'll tell you everything I've seen, but I can't go there under that ages. Never heard from him in my life after that. I've never taken a penny from any federal organization ever. And that's, that's the story.